means distribution based or rule based it's more to do with rules than an automatic system which figures out rules but i'll take you through this example but okay so standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the data is and from the empirical rule or the 68 95 99.7 rule we know that 68 percent of the values lie within the first standard deviation 95 percent of the values within the second standard deviation and 99.7 percent of the values within the third standard deviation this holds true for a normal distribution or a gaussian distribution uh, to help you visualize this i have a diagram here which will help you understand what i'm talking about so from the mean you see that 68.27 percent or so this is the rule right 68 95 or 99.7 rule. this is like basic statistics i think everybody would know this but i'm just going through this very quickly from the mean if you want to find 68 percent of the data the spread of data you can go uh, one standard deviations to your right and left that would cover the 68 percent uh, range of the data uh, spread if you go two standard deviations to your right or left that covers about 95 percent of the values and three standard deviations to your right or left covers about 99.7 percent of your data uh, or, or of your data distribution right so this is what we already know from statistics we have a gaussian distribution we have the mean we have standard deviation we go one standard deviation to right or left uh, we get 68 percent 95 percent 99 percent so how does anomaly detection come into play here so one very simple like and that's why it's called rule based way is to set a cutoff often done at two or three standard deviations you're going to say any data point that comes after two standard deviations or after three standard deviations is an outlier for me and this uh, is actually decided by you i mean you have uh, the data distribution you can see how what is the mean what is the standard deviation what is the variance uh, you also know the, the spread of the data first of all for this particular uh, rule uh, you should it should uh, you should have a normal distribution right uh, and then you say for uh, i have mean i have standard deviation i have uh, my i want to get any value that falls within 95 percent of the values is normal for me but if it is in the lower five percent i think it's an outlier so you're going to say okay any value that is uh, mu plus two sigma and mu minus two sigma beyond that is an outlier and that's it and uh, you can easily remove outliers from your data using this technique or even detect them or like if you have an automated system you can just say whenever a value crosses this threshold flag it as a outlier this is simple like we all know we, we, we saw it it's very simple you just put a threshold there and say that this is my outlier but it has its own shortcomings for instance uh, it works only on a single dimensional vector and what that means is you have only one column on which you can apply this individually i mean you have to apply this on each column it doesn't take into account uh, the entire data set uh, 